Have you ever seen a large fat guy holding an instrument? Before he even play, before he even say anything, we automatically know, hey fam, that boy good. He good. Well, that's how we're gonna try to sound today. Exactly what our perception is of how the way he would play if we would have heard him play before we judged. How to sound like a fat mother What's up, family? This is Tyree Cooper, founder of Be Small Musicians and To Believe, right here in Houston, Texas. Today's question came from Marquise Wafer, way over there in Talladega. He said, my section leader keeps asking me, play with an open throat, Beast Mode. How do we do that? So today, that's what we're gonna be going over. But what does open throat even mean? Should I lower the tongue? What about the little dangly thing in the back? Should it go up, down? Does it even matter? What about my mouth? Should I open it wider? What about the obiculus oris? Wait a minute. What does that even mean? <laughs> Play with an open throat. Everybody says it, but nobody's teaching it. That is the task that we have today. But wait a minute, what is the throw? Have you really just sat down and just really thought about it? <laughs> we have to understand exactly what it takes to make a throw. We have the soft palate, the dangly things in the back. We have the pharynx. We have the larynx. <laughs> And we have the, and we have, and then, and then when we really start. Okay, 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 okay. The only thing that you really need to know is front throat, the back throat, the little dangly thing in the back, and the tongue. <laughs> That's it. But does it all need to be open? To explain all this, we have to go to the Beast Mode Band Hall Lab. Follow me. Yay! Band Hall Lab. So the only thing we have to do is lower the front throat in order to have an open throat? Ah, yes and no. It's still a little bit more into it than that. What the section leaders mean by lowering the larynx or the front throat actually increases the size of the resonance tube because marching band instrumentalists usually use the middle to the high range larynx. Lowering the front throat accommodates for volume and projection of your tone rather well. This is why concert band instructors usually ask you to open your throat. So we certainly don't want too deep of a larynx while playing in more of a modern style. But I'm explaining what I mean a little bit later. But honestly, regardless of the style, lowering the throat or opening the throat is possibly the most important element in having a full fat tone. The front throat loves to fancy itself as a pitch changer. It likes to raise up in high notes and it loves to drop way down in low notes. But you need to develop a downward sensation as the lyric pitches go up. This skill flat out helps us develop playing better in any style. What do we do with the jaw? Opening the jaw doesn't necessarily mean opening the throat. However, a loose jaw helps the larynx remain free. We need to find a jaw position that's not too clenched, kind of jaw position that's not too wide and open. Something like this would be great. Give it a try. Picture the tennis ball or an egg 
in your mouth. Put space between your jaw and picture an orange in your throat. As if you're yawning. And always remember, produce hot, warm air. As if you're trying to fog up a glass. But remember, once we establish this natural draw position, we maximize our chances to play with an open throat. Next, let's check out the soft palate. The soft palate is the soft spot at the back at the top of your mouth. It raises, as you say, any of your vowels, like this. Ah, e, ooh, try it. Well done. So you don't really have to stress about raising it. The real consideration is, well, when to drop it. We drop it anytime we recruit any bit of a little nasal resonance. This should be around a mid range to high range when you start playing your instrument. You're gonna start noticing that it's gonna shift from the open throat and it's gonna start sounding real clenched. Around the mid range to high range of your horn, you're gonna start recruiting just a little bit of that nasal resonance. Next, let's evaluate the tongue. The tongue is really the innocent bystander in all of this because players like you have been told over and time again, time and time again, to open their throats while they're playing. I'm pretty sure musicians like you have tried to lower their larynx as far as it'll go. And also raising the soft palate as high as it will raise. But for some reason, it's still not working. I can't get that fat, dark, resonant sound that everybody else has but me. So the only thing left is the tongue. So the tongue starts to pull back and retract and starts to interfere with everything. We just work so hard on doing. It's just getting in the way. But it's important, it's really important not to let this happen, not to let it get in the way. For your tonal playing best, as a musician to musician, please keep your tongue as relaxed as possible. Ideally like the yawning sound that we explored in the last episode. Inhale with a wide throat as if you're yawning as you exhale. Always remember to breathe out hot air. As if you're trying to fog up a glass or a mirror. But wait, there's more. I'm gonna give you one last little tidbit that I know is gonna blow your minds. Watch this. Take a deep breath real fast. I don't need to hear that. You see, try to make the throat as open as possible. As if you're yawning. I should be able to see down your throat. Try to go e o r e o r. All right, all right, all right. That's enough technical talk in the lab. I think it's time to look at a song.
It's time for your challenge. Your challenge this week is to practice all five of these open throat concepts. <laughs> you could do it on an exercise as simple as ah. ah. Of course, we're not the choir, but it's some things that really helps instrumentalists very well. And this is one of them, lowering the larynx or the front throat. Ah, ah, whoops. Ah, releasing the jaw. Ah, whoa. Oh, a tennis ball or an egg is in your mouth. Oh, loosening the tongue. Oh, whoa. Oh, e -o. see that U shape? That's what you want. Not really using none of this, just front two. A front throat, not really the back. Ah, heavy, dark in the front. Oh, I have one more thing to apply all of this. How does all this apply to playing the instrument? I'm about to tell you right now. After you get done with all five concepts, apply a mid-range concert F. For tuba players or for bass clef instruments, it's the space right below the staff. Tuning note, concert B flat. Low B flat. Sing it and then play. Sing it and then play. Sing the concept and then play. Oh, B flat. Ba. B flat. Make sure y'all watch the other videos because that's gonna tell you exactly how to breathe from the diaphragm, what is the diaphragm, but most importantly, last but not least, how to buzz, how to properly play with the embouchure and the aperture. So make sure you watch the other videos as well so we can connect all concepts. If y'all learned something in this video, make sure that you like the video and also share it to somebody else in your section. Until next time, peace. So share it to somebody else in your section just in case they don't know, or maybe if they do and they just need to refresh. Send them these videos, the diaphragm, how to play with the embouchure correctly, but most importantly, how to play with an open throat. What's today's question came from Marquise Wafer, and he was saying, he asked his section leader said that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you to play with an open throat. What does that mean? I don't want to use my keys though, but I can't use my keys because really no, nobody asked that. <laughs> he named a random person. Random ass. Today's question comes from Rodrigo F. in Formosa, Argentina. Rodrigo writes... Random ass, no man's land place. I'm gonna say somebody asked me that same shit. You gonna look at that video and be like... Bitch, I never asked that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway, cause... Play with an open throat. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. Play with an open throat. Everybody says it, but nobody's teaching it. No, I gotta be more mad than that. Like Tower Banks always say, gotta commit. Tower Banks says that? Somebody says it. <laughs> Tower Banks. <laughs> Somebody says it. I'm sure. I thought that was Hitler. I wanna thank me. <laughs> I wanna thank me for believing in me. I wanna thank me for doing all this hard work. I want to thank me for having no days off. I want to thank me for, for never quitting. I want to thank me for always being a giver and trying to give more than I receive. I want to thank me for trying to do more right than wrong. I want to thank me for just being me at all times. Snoop Dogg, you a bad...